Morning, church family. This is Pastor Thad with another midweek devotional. This week, we're continuing to talk about wisdom, and I want to look at Psalm 90, verse 12, where Moses, an amazing, wise leader, not perfect leader, but wise leader of God's people, writes this psalm that is collected in this group of psalms in the third book of Psalms, as the whole, all 150 psalms are broken up into these five books. This third book has Moses' psalm. And nestle near the end of this, he has this incredibly wise uh, encouragement, exhortation for us. He says in verse 12, let me get it big for us. Teach us to number our days so that we might get a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days that we might get a heart of wisdom. Now in this whole context, he's going all the way from uh, how God has worked against their enemies. Uh, he's reminded people of our, uh, the, the lifespan is but a breath, like grass that's renewed in the morning, but it flourishes and renewed. And then in the evening, it fades and withers. We're brought to end by God's anger, by his wrath. We're dismayed. We've set our iniquities before you. You have set them before us and our secret sins in light of your presence. And then there's this work and this hardship and there's the power of God's anger, his wrath. So then the conclusion is to teach us to number our days, to, to know, it's literally the word teach there, is to know how many our days will be so that we might get, have, attain a heart a soul, a mind, a life that is geared towards and through wisdom. And I think what he's teaching us here it is three important things about what wisdom is, what wisdom focuses us towards, and, and the fact that God is the source of wisdom. First, I think it, it helps us to guide our priorities, to order them rightly. He's not saying ignore everything else and the, 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 you know, the things will fall in place. He's not saying let, let go and let God. He's, he's saying we're going to work, we're going to toil, we're going to do all these things. But knowing that we have a lifespan, knowing that our our life is going to seem however long, it's going to seem like it's cut short. It helps us to value our priorities and to, to put things in right order, both in schedule and time, but also in, in weight, in, in benefit, in value, so that we're not emphasizing too much of what's not really important in life. It also, second, it grounds our responsibilities. He talks about in verse 10, he says, The years of our life are 70, or reason by strength, 80, yet their span is but toil and trouble. They're soon gone, and we fly away. Now, other than that awesome uh, blue gas, bluegrass country song, I'll Fly Away to Glory, which is a different theology that we're going to talk about today, it, it's interesting to think that it's, the responsibility that we have is not to ignore our work. It's not to say, oh, those things aren't worth my time. It's to say, I have wisdom helps teach me that responsibilities are important. And it shows us what responsibilities we need to focus on and how they're growing us, how they're teaching us more wisdom in the ways that we uh, exhibit or understand or even enjoy our responsibilities. And what's also important is, is it puts us in perspective, those responsibilities in perspective of God, like we talked about this past Sunday in stewardship, the, the fact that God has given us to watch, to guard, to keep over all of creation, especially our own hearts. And that's the focus here that we can get a heart of wisdom, not just a head full of information, not the same as wisdom. But it helps us to, to learn the responsibilities, how they order our wise priorities behind not just what we do, not just the fact that we're doing all these works and toils and troubles, but the fact of why we're doing them. Because that's hugely important to God's kingdom work. It's not just what we're doing, but why we're doing that for his glory and honor. And that rearranges a lot of things. If you can't do something for God's honor, might not be wise, might not even be uh, biblical, might not be uh, allowed, might be, there's probably a good chance it's a command against it. And because there's there's a really important idea of why we're doing what we're doing, not just what we're doing. 
or how we're doing it. A lot of times people think wisdom is the, the skillful knowledge behind doing something. And it does have a lot of skill-based learning because it's something you have to learn and not just read a book about. And it's God's wisdom in life. But it's not just the tangible application of knowledge. It's a God-oriented grace that he gives to be focused on him, to put things in right perspective. And that gets us to the third point, that to teach us to number our days so that we might get or receive, learn in a gracious way, a heart of wisdom, it grows gospel character. Because as we learn, our days are coming short. Again, however, it could be many, many decades. It could be many, many weeks. As we learn that truth, it teaches us to rely on the good gifts of God. And that always comes by and through and because of grace. So it, it contrasts the things that Moses puts here. Is It's not uh, up here. It's not um, toil or trouble that we've worked hard at it. And so I better you know make sure I enjoy the rest of my days. It's not that work hard, play hard mentality that we see. It's not, well, I put my time in. Now it's time for me to retire and kick back and do nothing. It's however many days are filled with work. Let them, let us realize that it's, it's because we've received and then we get to be good stewards of what we received. That's such a blessing. That's, that's a wise perspective on the days that we have left. So it's not grunt work, but it's also not just kind of the, the guts of courage to push through and, you know, whatever happens, you know, say la vie, it comes and we deal with it. And that's how life is. I don't think that's what he's saying either, because uh, he says the the days pass away under your wrath and the years are brought to end like a sigh. He's talking about the sovereignty of God in light of everything, even hard things like the grass that's renewed, but then it flourishes, it fades and withers. And so our lives aren't something that we just endure. We just, you know, suck it up and get through it. Like so many of my military partners like to say, my friends in the uh, in arms, it's enjoying. It's a joyful endurance. It, so all of that is God's focusing on us understanding our lives and the character that he's shaping. He's teaching us. He's helping us to know, to deeply personally know who he is and why we're about what we're about, why we're invested in what we're invested in, so that we can enjoy him, to glorify him and enjoy him forever. Well, I hope this has been beneficial. We're going to continue to look at what wisdom is, what wisdom is in a lot of different aspects of life um, as we move on. I want this to pair both uh, with our Sunday morning series. We're looking at the Wisdom Pyramid. We're also looking on Wednesday evenings, the crucial conversations that we need to have. And I hope that these Seven, I think we're having, those aren't the only crucial conversations we need to have, right? There's many, many other ones. And so to have wisdom as a foundation, to have the gospel wisdom as the bedrock of our lives, like we talked about a couple weeks ago, that the foundation of our home, our house, our lives is built on the word of God. And when that's the foundation, everything else falls in place, not, not just plop, but it's realigned. It's our priorities are made right. Our responsibilities are shown clearer and why we're doing those things. And then we're resting as stewards of the gospel of grace that teaches us wisdom, that teaches us to receive well and to serve humbly. I pray that that's something we can all understand more. And I pray that we all get a heart of wisdom as God teaches us to number our days.